All right, hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I was trying to get something to eat because I was trying to take a swim in the water to clean myself. It didn't go out well, I almost died, but the mission started, so we might as well just start it. I can't escape it. I can't escape it. I legit cannot escape it. You put that what is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. <sighs> My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. <laughs> Enough, both of you. Well, come with me then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? My own woman. So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. You see, I ran out. Of, I was, I was trying to, I was trying to take a dive, you know, take a little dive. No. I guess. But I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Well, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> <laughs> he ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All males be sent to the same alias. Whatever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Wherever I go, Johnny Sins comes with me. I gotta get back. We're at this. We're at the. Oh my gosh. We're at the store. What do you want from me, game? Okay. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there, you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. 
Damn. She with it. Oh fuck. Wherever. What do you mean What's in the park? Wherever I go, and he sends there with me. My boy. I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. See you later. Honey, right there. Look at him. Look at him, my boy. That's my man's. He's right there with me. <laughs> I'm trying. Try harder. When did she change clothes? What in the hell? I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like if she second. driving, we shooting. Not lady. You know the rules. Yeah. So you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, don't know. I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. There he is. Won't be long before you're smoking there he cigars is. and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey, yo. What happened to my rifle? Oh, it's right there. Hey there! Hi. Hey. What, uh, what you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lamorne Raider country. Keep it cool. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Get him. That's how you do it. Well, you wanted to see some action, lady. Now you got your wish. In the rocks. You okay there, Shane? Because you've caused enough trouble already. No, because we're done shooting. I'm fine. Hey, you want me to drive? We show those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Oh shit. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But Maybe not. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbon piercing about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream.
Sorry, move it. Right, you would. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of bottles. Not a chance. Yep. That was epic. Oh, you wanted to take the reins for me then, but now I gotta walk back into. Okay, all right, cool. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, uh, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping. Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Oh, Javi, you're tweaking. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Silver, what did I miss? Ah, oh, shit. Fuck it. Never mind. I think this is a side mission from what? I don't know who was just talking to me, but someone was. The Apode. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good on that. We could do this all the way over there. Actually, before that, I gotta go. Is there a hotel here? I think someone has a hotel here. There's a fence. What the fuck? Whoa. All right, I'll just skip over to the next mission. See you then. All right, we are on the way to the next mission. I don't know if I have to be weary of these people. I don't think so. I'm not a brave way, so I think we should be all right. What do you want, boy? This here the gray plantation? Yep. Gallagher Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. Sweet. Wanna hit nobody. You might be our dumbest deputy yet. Penny gets a stop. You get to. Uh... Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Thank you, good sir. Kind of rude, but it's okay. This is the man I'm looking for. This is the man I'm looking for. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here. And suddenly, there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, Looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, Grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. 
Would you help? I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always got money. No brains mind, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. My man, speaking the same language. Same language of money. Where's my, where's, where's, John A. Look at him go. On our way, Johnny and I go sneak in some brave weight plantation. Thank you, game. I, for the fifth time, I understand. No guns. Okay. Turn in Jesus Christ. That turn? <laughs> much but I know we're about to get into some restricted territory soon. I'll play it all stealth like or I did something like this. Oh shit. It took me forever but I went all the way outside. Much all good to go. Too easy. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> A letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? Well, yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. <laughs> but if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? That place no. does not exist. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, 
I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Goodbye. Why is everything red now? Imagine Penelope just looking at me like, that man is weird, just crouching away. Never be too safe though. Right now, in and out. Johnny, right here waiting. Go, boy. Good boy. And just like that, we out. We are gone. We'll give it to Bo. Get out of here. Ah! I will, in fact, give it to Bo. I'll give it a second. I'll skip over to that. We are here. Where's Bo at? There he is. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. <sighs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mm. <laughs> on my horse, I always mount Johnny. Anytime, any day. All right. Come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. All right. The hell is this man doing? In her honor. That's I'm not real sure love, then. Know what they're doing. There, there they are. Oh, the Bo, horse. what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob. We must begin. They leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you, 
I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Oh. Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the now, food now. and we fetch the Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. I want to kill somebody. Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I just shall make sure it's a peaceful assembly. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Talk to sir! Go home! Shut your mouth! What you the hell is going on? Well, man! Go shit! Cause all this trouble! You don't even know what you're going on! And gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Oh. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. <laughs> His philosophy hey. dependent on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was Bo, a little weren't we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? <gasps> Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? We're about to fuck these guys up. Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. Please. Gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Land of the future. Uh, I ran too quickly. Fuck them up. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. Sooner it's out, that, but... sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean? We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. 
secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. I excuse me. Good man, give me my money. Thirty dollars. Let's go. What the? Oh, never mind. Well, yep. I'm in this part here. I got things to do. Like an hour. I don't want to do it, but I got to. I appreciate you guys watching, and I catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.